Cornhusker Nation, Nebraska football, this is unreal. I've made videos this entire offseason for the Nebraska Cornhuskers football team talking about all the new guys coming in from the transfer portal and even some of the new guys coming in from high school. It looks like now there could potentially be another transfer coming in. The guy from TCU, his name, I hope I say this right, I probably won't. Ochuan Mateus. Okay, this guy had 26 tackles for loss. 12 and a half sacks in his three years with the Horn Frogs. Okay, he posted on his Twitter, this is not a rumor, that he will be officially visiting Nebraska for the spring game. And the spring game's coming up this weekend. And I think Nebraska, if they could get another player like this from the portal, their defense will be absolutely stacked going into this fall. Keep in mind, this guy's 6'5", 260. He was an edge rusher slash outside linebacker DN. Okay, he could play all over the field on defense for the Horn Frogs. And I think if he comes to Nebraska, he'll definitely be getting in there with Garrett Nelson, possibly. Caleb Tanner. I want to hear who you guys think, though. We have else on this bench for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Because if we don't land somebody like Matthias, I think, you know, we're going to have to probably get somebody else or rely on a freshman coming in from high school that we got. Okay, I think this defense has a lot of potential, and a guy like this with Division I experience. We'll watch some of his highlights right here. And you can see he's built and ready to go next year. That's one thing I like about this guy. He's not like an incoming freshman who's still trying to figure it out, trying to, you know, really feel out the physicality of Division I, especially Big Ten football. And this guy's got the size at 6'5", 260, and he would make an immediate impact on the defense, okay? So hopefully his visit goes well and he likes Nebraska because we could use a guy like this on defense, okay? It would just be another feather in Scott Frost's cap from this offseason in the transfer portal. Keep in mind, Nebraska, I believe, was top 10 in the transfer portal recruiting. So if Scott Frost could get another guy like this, just another you know feather in his cap for doing all this offseason recruiting because he has to win now. He's not really looking for the, you know, the next guy that he's going to develop for the next three to four years. Obviously, there'll be freshmen coming into this program that he's going to, you know, try to get ready. But it looks like from all these transfer portal guys, Scott Frost is trying to win now with the guys that he has now with experience. Okay, and I love that game plan. I think Nebraska is going to have a veteran team out there next year if these guys can all stay healthy. And Mateus would just add to that roster. He's going to come down and probably see oh, this team has some veterans. Casey Thompson at quarterback, we even got some depth. A couple of guys like Garrett Nelson and Caleb Tanner that I mentioned. Okay, hopefully his visit goes well. And we can get him officially committed because like I made my last video on Thomas Fedone, we still don't know what's going on with him, although that is on the offensive side. We want to make this team as deep as possible because, you know, obviously this is a dangerous game. Guys go down all the time. So I think another transfer like this would be huge for this team, especially getting a guy that can jump in and play right now with D1 experience. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments below if this kid could come in and actually start right away or do you think he would just kind of have a backup role for the Cornhuskers at that DN position or that outside linebacker position because we do have some guys there right now. But the more the merrier is my opinion and I think Scott Frost should try to seal this guy up if he likes his visit and Hopefully we can get the spring game rocking 90,000 down at Memorial and he realizes, oh, this is only a spring game. But again, thanks everybody for tuning in to today's video talking about TCU transfer Ochuan Mateus. Hopefully I said that right. Again, let me know in the comments below if you guys have heard much about this guy, if you think he could come in and play right away for the Cornhuskers. I want to hear what you guys think about this position at DN and outside linebacker. And maybe I'm missing a couple of guys. You know, let me know in the comments below if you guys think I'm missing out some of our best O linebackers and defensive ends. But again, thanks everybody for tuning in. If you're new, hit that sub button and I'll make a video talking about the O line in a few days. So keep an eye out for that. But thanks again, everybody. And until next time, I'm out.